The Seahorse Autopilot system works by setting a waypoint three kilometers directly in front of the Seahorse, and this becomes a target which the Kontiki will head towards. If a side current tries to push it sideways, then the seahorse will steer itself into the current, and if a wave knocks it off course, the seahorse will steer itself back onto course. The simplest approach to operating the autopilot is to place the GPS seahorse on the beach, pointing in the direction you wish it to go, plug in the batteries, and leave it. Bait up the bait board or get yourself organised, and in a couple of minutes, the autopilot has done everything it needs and it will be waiting for you with two lights on to lock the course. This is done by swiping the magnet across the set clear course just below the strobe light and it's ready to launch. If you want to stay and watch the autopilot step through its stages, there are a couple of things you need to remember. Firstly, keep the GPS seahorse 5 metres away from any large metal objects like cars or quad bikes. Also, keep it 2 metres away from the winch or motorised trolley, as their electric motors have magnets in them which can affect the electronic compass in the Kontiki. Also, keep your magnet at least 1 metre away from the GPS seahorse while it is calculating the course, as the magnet could affect the compass and give you a false course. With all the warnings out of the way, the process is set the GPS seahorse on the beach pointing it in the direction you wish it to go in. Plug in the batteries and the lights will come on for both the speed controller and the autopilot control. Four lights come on as the system initialises, followed by one flashing light. The flashing light will last anything from a couple of seconds to a couple of minutes as the GPS module downloads information on the positions of the satellites. Once this is done and the GPS module has fixed the Kontiki's position, the light will become solid for approximately three seconds. During this time, the compass is getting a steady compass bearing. Once the bearing is calculated, the autopilot system now knows where it is and where it's pointing, and it will calculate a waypoint three kilometres directly in front of the GPS seahorse. And when this is done, two solid lights will appear on the autopilot control panel. If you move the GPS seahorse while the two lights are showing, the Kontiki will detect the movement change back to a single solid light, and once you set the Kontiki down again, the autopilot will recalculate the new waypoint. When the two lights are on, you can now swipe the magnet over the set clear course and lock the course in. Four lights will appear when the course is locked in. When the four lights are on, you can move the Kontiki around. As soon as you pick up the Kontiki and start moving it in the direction the course is set, then the rudder will centre itself. For example, if I set a course out to sea and then carry the Kontiki along the beach, the rudder will turn towards the water because that's the direction it wants to go in. After fishing and when the GPS seahorse is pulled back to the beach, it is best to swipe the magnet over the set clear course and clear the course before unplugging the batteries. Just a quick note, the side of the magnet where the string comes out is the stronger side and this is the side you should use to activate the autopilot and speed controller. The lithium batteries have iron in them and they can upset the compass, so we recommend keeping the lithium battery clear of the GPS seahorse when setting the course. The procedure is, set the GPS seahorse on the beach pointing in the correct direction. Place the sealed lead acid battery beside the Kentucky and plug in. When the two lights are showing, swipe the magnet over the set clear course to set the course. When the four lights are showing, you can now get the lithium battery and insert it into the Kentucky and connect. Now lift the SLA battery and insert into the GPS seahorse and check the connection. Put the hatch on and you are now ready to go fishing. See the next section for setting the timer and starting the motor.